have to take this abuse much longer. Hey everybody, Walrus here from Walrus Street, bringing you another episode of SPAC Week. This week we're taking a look at all of the SPACs that I am invested in, all five of them, one per day. And the goal is just to do something different. You know, a lot of people are tired of losing out with biotech stocks, with pharma stocks, and we want something a little more reliable, something with a floor perhaps, so it stops dropping out of the bottom of our portfolio. Enter the SPAC, where we've got a nav of 10, and the chances of it dropping below 10 are really low until the merger happens and then we have things like Clover Health, but yeah. Let's not talk about that one. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at A1 and the merger with 3D printing company, Marked Forge. This is not a deep dive. This is just a preview of an investment that I am holding. You can hear my thoughts on the company, why I'm invested in it, and I'll be providing the link to the investor relations presentation below the video so you can check it out on your own. Just a reminder, I am not a financial professional. All information in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Here we go, here is the Form 8K on the merger. Merger. This was reported on February 23rd, 2021. The merger is between A1 and Mark Forged Inc. Here is A1 right now. The current price is about 18.5% above net asset value, 11.85, but that's still pretty low for a post DA SPAC, especially one in an industry that's as hyped as 3D printing. This is the website for Mark Forged, and I have to say, I love the website. I love the coloring, I love everything everything about it. They show their 3D printers, their 3D printing metal products for companies, industrial 3D printers, performance materials, enterprise software, and they call their platform the Digital Forge. I love this. I mean, nobody actually picks the dwarf class in an RPG, but we can still respect the application of the Forge here. Just the buzzwords they use on their website, turnkey simplicity, robust parts, perpetual ROI, unlocked potential. So they're selling their printers, they're selling their software, they're selling their expertise. You can take a look at their investor presentation. Again, the link is below the video. This investor presentation was released after the merger with One. So you'll see all the information for One in here. Now, One's track record of early investments in transformational businesses. This is impressive. They invested in PayPal in 99, Trulia in 05, Palantir and Airbnb in 09, Pinterest in 2010, Square in 11, Uber in 12. I hate Uber, but I mean, it was definitely an attractive investment at that time. Open door and Reddit in 2014. Reddit. <laughs> and Carta in 2017. So 775 billion plus for the market caps of these companies. Their criteria for partnership, founders, visionaries, operators, strong tech, defensible positioning, benefiting from transformational trends, the flow into 3D printing, velocity of digitization, opportunity to utilize capital to drive growth, strengthening moats, which they definitely have, and an enduring business. That's one. Mark Forged at a glance. Large and growing TAM. So we talk about the TAM on this channel a lot. 118 billion by 2029. That's not not the biggest TAM that you can imagine that far in the future, but this is kind of a conservative estimate if you look at some other estimates. They have a large and growing connected installed base, 10,000 to 70,000 projected connected printers from 2020 to 2025. Scale with blue chip customers, 70 million in their 2020 revenue. Position for robust growth, they're expecting to 10x by 2025 and an attractive margin profile, 55% for their 2020 growth margin. For what's effectively a manufacturing slash software company, this is really impressive. It's not as high as other pure software plays where you get valuations in like the 70s, 80% for gross profit margin, but 55% considering they're actually making the printers, this is really impressive. Here they kind of set the story, the limitations of traditional manufacturing, limited design flexibility, inability by manufacturers to hire skilled workers, inability to effectively respond to supply chain disruptions. And we've seen a lot of supply chain disruptions with COVID. So this actually leads to the increased adoption option of 3D printing. 20% of every dollar in manufacturing is wasted. So 10% of the global GDP. Mark Forge wins because it has accessible industrial strength parts, high and tangible customer ROI, integrated modern software platform, and scale today drives a virtuous cycle. More customers, more part data, printers get smarter, better parts. And it loops again and again and again, and the company improves over time. So they offer software. Cloud-first architecture provides powerful yet easy to use solution. Nine 
metal and composite printers and sintering furnaces, which continue to get smarter, unlocks new applications across 14 proprietary materials. This is the addressable market opportunity. From 2012 to 2020, this was a 26% CAGR for the additive manufacturing industry. From here on, with the adoption of 3D printing and the specialization of parts, this is up to a 27% CAGR. Blue chip customer base across key verticals. This is some of their customers. They're already existing customers. All branches of the military, NASA, SpaceX, Medtronic, Regeneron, Bayer, Honda, Tesla, Volkswagen, Bosch, Airbus, Lockheed. This is everybody. This is a really cool slide. Like if you're asking why would a customer use a 3D printer, the USMC, $270,000 a year in cost savings, three months for the first printer payback period. And they've gone from two to 29 printers. Frito-Lay, 45 times cost savings on key applications, nine months for the first printer payback period. And they've gone from one to 35 printers. And they're replacing traditionally manufactured steel and aluminum parts. These are their printers and centers. Here's what they call the flywheel. This is their virtuous cycle. So they got more customers, more part data, printers get smarter, better parts, and it goes on and on and on. This is the advantage of having all of their parts available in the cloud. It's gonna be improving all of the printers over time. Global distribution, global partners. Here is their financials, and this is why they're so damned attractive. Historical performance, 70% CAGR, forecasted 68%. And this is for their revenue growth. They're forecasting their revenue at a 68% CAGR, and they've already demonstrated a historical 70%. So they're actually going conservative here on their forecasting and saying, we're not gonna do as good going into the future, but they're not as good as still 68%. Now let's take a look at another one of these really cool graphics from Torniki Legitze. Go ahead and give him a follow on Twitter. He makes all of these. This is accurate as of just last week. It's a comparison between Velo 3D, Mark Forged, and Desktop Metal. Desktop Metal went public last year. It ended up hitting an all-time high of $34.94, currently priced at $17.93. Mark Forged is right around here. It's pretty close. The implied market cap is going to be $2.44 billion for Mark Forge, $4.38 for Desktop Metal, $2.12 for Velo 3D. So this is a really competitive comparison here. But if we take a look at the revenue, Mark Forge is just right there in the middle. They're already demonstrating solid revenue. Their historical revenue is actually a little bit better than these two companies here. Forecasted, it's growing. And here you can see their customer base at the bottom. All three of them have overlapping customers. So I'm assuming the customers use them for different parts, different applications. So there you have it. Mark Forge is another one I'm really excited about. Ticker is going to be MKFG. Right now it's trading under AONE. There's a lot of competition in 3D printing. So if this one's a shock, this one's going to be a hammerhead moving in those big schools across the Pacific Ocean. If you're new to investing, please check out my Weeble referral link below the video. If you sign up for a new account funded with $100, you get some free stock. I get some free stock. Everybody wins because I'm partnered with them. My free stock is going to be worth $30 or higher. Much appreciated. As always, if you like the content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be alerted to all my content, as soon as it goes live, make sure you hit that notification bell. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot. See you later.